Hi everyone, my name is Kuri and that's Kitty with an R somewhere in there and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. I have been oh so much longing to play this again. There's been plenty of updates, sadly as, as always as reckless I, as, as reckless as I tend to be, I never really check what the updates are. But there's different classes, there are new enemies, there are new places to go, there's new things to see. But, well, if you haven't actually been or seen what this game is, this is a game that revolves around a lot of... So, well, it's basically like an RPG, but a horror-themed one. The, the short version of the story is you had a you had a ancestor who dabbled in dark things. Uh, he went crazy, the, the, the madness enveloped him, and then he left the, this whole manor in your name. So you have to retake it from the darkness and basically have to throw lives. Well, basically have to throw heroes' lives into the flames to call the fires. And well, these, these are my heroes that I'm going to call the fires with. All 14 of them. The light shows me to defeat the enemies. Well, you're actually just praying right now, so shush. So, oh, look at this. The darkest dungeon is open. Level 6. Whoa, did you just jump yourself in there? That guy is eager. Captain DP is eager. I'm not really sure what I named him DP for. Ah, well, I've, I've named him that for something. Let's see here. Where could I go? We have a short one if you want to, like, refresh our memory towards the game, so we could do that. And, uh, let's see, who do we want to take with us? I am so green to the, get this game again, it, but it's so fun to be back. This should suffice, and now we have to just... Well, basically just... Get some food supplies to survive the night. Well, survive our... Survive our little journey. So we should print this stock up on torches, food... Dog biscuits for the dog. Uh, the, the guy has a dog. Relax. You'll see it. You'll see it soon. Apparently, I get holy water for free. Not sure why. But always good to have a shovel. That's a little too many torches, I'd say. Especially for a small one. So here we go. Corruption has soaked the soil, sapping all good life from these groves. Let us burn out this evil. I agree, Mr. What did I name him again? I named him Hedrick, I think I did. So here we are in the welds. We're going to go up against a lot of mushroom people or zombies. And what we have to do here is basically like, as you can see up in the left corner, I'm not really sure where you are sitting, but the stairs, skirmish, complete 100% of, of uh, room battles. And these big things like as this one here, this one there, 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 and so forth. We have to find 100% of every boss battle, but we can get skirmishes and battles on the way there throughout all these encounters. So we have to click here and see what happens first. First off, we have a little stump. These can contain deadly diseases or they can contain goodies. Let's just roll the dice and see what we can get. But we can always use an antidote. Protect against the disease and get loot. Certain items and certain pickups, you can counter them with like items you can buy and find in the game. And the benefits will only be positive. Oh, and here's our first battle. This is gonna be fun. Let's see here, Judgment, Dazzling Light. We do want to get rid of this Ectoplasma because they have a tendency to reproduce themselves. So go for the Ectogoop. surges as the enemy crumbles. Gotta get that goop go. Let's see here, hack and slash. Have to go get rid of the skeleton gone. A faint hope blossoms. That was a pretty easy battle. Ghoulish horrors. Brought low and driven into the mud. Hmm. So with our first battle with our first battle done, we can have a look at the bleed stone, which is pretty good for him, because seeing that his dog does a lot of bleeds. So we can Equip the bleed stone on him. He will be slower, but his bleed chance will be a good. Which is good. Oh. Nothing must have left, un left untouched. Okay, he's gonna... And, speaking of which, he is a kleptophobe. A kleptomaniac, not a kleptophobe. Kleptomaniac, so... 
there are perks and stuff like that. I know if you actually watched this re recently, I'm just trying to explain this to people who don't understand well this game, about this game. But when you level up, when you go through the world, sometimes heroes or adventurers will pick up perks or diseases or curses. Anything can happen. Anything can happen. And it's about it's this game tests your your own sanity as well as your heroes. It tests your ability Nature to herself, finance yourself. A victim to the spreading corruption. To be able to Malfoy have tactics. To be able to play like oh, and he has to touch it again. He's gonna get deceased. I know it. Or not? Hmm. I'm pleasantly surprised about that. How lovely. So this is gonna be a boss ba battle room. Here we go. And my light is starting to get a bit uh, dim. Oh my, he went really far off. I do not approve of you being shoved up that way. So let's uh, let's start bleeding these bastards. Because seeing that I have a bleed stone, they should all exactly they should all be bleeding. Mm, heal self. Let's see. Stun. Let's stun her. It's always a good... Ah, oh, come on. Yeah, there's pull. Oh, she is pulling me. No! Staggering force! And sadly, because he's so far away, he has to go all his paces back. See, this is the kind of th things that just... A part of me hates, but a part of me also misses all this. I don't know what it is, but it just kind of does. Always good to get rid of the back wall first. Because the, it almost seems to be a thing about this game. It's like every piece of people who are on the back are the supportive people or the very, very bad people. At this case, they should be removed. As plain and simple as it is, we need to get those cultist women out of here. Out of here and gown. And I'm gonna chew my doggy on them. They're gonna chew some butt cheeks. And then they're gonna have bleeding sensations throughout their extremities. That made no sense, I'm aware. But we're being hugged by zombies, which I do not appreciate, so we're gonna go ahead and have a heal! Heal for everyone. Next up, uh, you're going to bleed to death, so how about we try and do this? I don't know what it is, but I just can't understand her. I can't understand the... Um, I think it's like Berserker class. Slowly, Hellion. Gently. It's Hellion. Their name is Hellion. This is how a life is taken. And I can't understand them for the life of me, but there's a lot of like buffing yourself because every most of her attacks debuffs herself. As in decreases her stats as you can see down there. 20% minus damage and 15 minus dodge. So it's all about finding the balance between things. Sometimes it just doesn't really go well. Be purged. That looks like a muffin. I don't want a muffin right now. Oh, I really want a muffin right now. Protection, speed. You know, I'm gonna. No, he has. Like, I'm gonna give this to you. You could use some more protection. Uh, sadly, I don't have a key. I should have bought a key. But we can always check and see if we get something good. The chest was open, and we got plenty of good. Now, if you're if you're curious about why I'm picking up all these purple frame stuff, like such as uh, the crest or the bust, it's a currency in town to upgrade your upgrade your basically your town or your hamlet, as it's called. To to make your oh yes, you need to eat. Go ahead, eat eat your fill. Let's see a spider web with. A spider web with a strange glow to it. There's something hidden beside. And we found something cute. We found some gold and gems. Oh no, oh. See, this is the part that of the welds or just any random encounter that I don't particularly like. Because if you don't have a shovel, you have to claw it down with your hands and that lowers morale and it takes time and you're gonna see the effects of it now. Without tools of iron, you must rely on flesh. An indefatigable purpose. Yeah, it's always bring a shovel, people. Oh boy, it's spider time. 
We're gonna bleed us some spiders. Mmm. Spider buffet for the doggy. Web. He's webbing my dog. He. Oh boy. And there they go. Off in a nice little row of death. We got ourselves a nice loot this here. This expedition at least promises success. Yes. So far it's good. Let's see. Something is cramped and necessary. Um, I wonder if I can like use this. Nope. This item has no effect. It's always good to like experiment when you have the items available. But at this one, I'm not really entirely sure. So we're just gonna go have go ahead and scrummage through it. We found an air. We found a map of the area, and we have a destination towards the last last battle room. But there's gonna be two battles there. But, luckily enough, we could, thanks to the map, we can now see that there's a trap ahead. So let's have a look at who is the best trap remover. 30%, 50%, and 30%. So you, Mr. Tracker, which makes perfect sense to be a good trap remover. boy. But let's go ahead and change up the back of the position, because that's something that I always forget, and which you should not forget. Never forget to change back if you've been mixed in with positions. Bleed for me. Burn away the impurities. Goodbye, little maggots. And if you haven't noticed, these types of small skidrish creatures, they don't leave behind a corpses as other do as, as, as others do. But a victory nonetheless. And uh, yeah, let's enter the well, not the final room, but let's enter the room towards the final room. That made sort of sense. Uh, yes, go ahead and eat. And there we go, trap. Do your duty. Oh, trap disarm. Oh, that's a neat touch. Okay, so you have 90% trap disarm. Yes, go ahead and disarm that. And now we have a full inventory, so hopefully we can carry whatever we find in here. Fungal artillery, that's something we, we, we want to get rid of. But let's uh, let's start bleeding this. Everybody gets blood. Rend of the old gods. Yep, they like bleeding too. Oh, they debuff now as well? Hmm, they're, they're, mix, they're changing things. Oh boy. Here's another mark, and this is where we have to be careful of the zombie man over here. So he has to, kind of has to go. Here, let's go ahead and stun the zombie, if that's possible. Yes, it was. And now we should be able to save ourselves a damage ro roll from him. Which is great! Great, 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 great! Mm. Mm -hmm. I kind of want to get rid of... I kind of want to get to those, but I think it's better if we just remove the vanguard. So let's just show them a scroll and burn away the impurities because they're filthy. He... yeah, I would... Bad dog. Bad. Don't do that shit no more. Apparently they've added a lot of new sound effects as well, which I rather enjoy. Cut that mushroom man up. Make some shiitake mushrooms with him. That's an awful joke, I know, and I should be and I should feel terrible, but th th that's the thing, I don't. There we go, he should bleed now to death. Yes, he has one damage and oh It's not that bad, but it's more the stress it puts onto the my uh, onto my heroes. So no matter how much damage they deal, a uh, critical hit is always bad. See here, a single heal for my little Hellion, and uh, I don't know, just bite the mushroom thing, the weird, pulpous, gross, nasty thing. And uh, now I can't really reach them, so we're gonna have to burn the corpses to him to get to, to get to the last one. Mark Prey, that's the only thing he can do. And it's a good idea to basically... You have to know the enemy. You have to really know the enemy. 
And these are the enemies, you don't want them in front of the line, but you don't want them in, at the back of the line. You want them currently, if I were to do this, you would want them to be here. Because at this position, they can't use their escape cloud, which will poison my frontal guard, my frontal people, and that's a bad thing. Very, very bad thing. And the there we go. Death. Unforeseen. There we go. And we are done here. Yes, we turn to the helmets at once. Driving out corruption is an endless battle, but one that must be fought. Ooh, look at all that gully gold and all these heirlooms. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and oh, it just keeps on going. This is what I like to see. So we got ourselves some nice treasure and was able to sell back some of the stuff we bought. Always a positive. So let's let's head on to the next menu and see what who leveled up and what they gain. Gain. They gain quirks. Oh, he was deceased somehow. That's not good. Oh, he was deceased right now. Obsessed with material things. Low mania. Precise strike. Merely critical hit. That's good. And bad. Humors. That is something we want to get rid of because he is a, he is what I would like, like to call a vanguard. Basically those who are supposed to stand up front and take damage. And maximum damage is not a good thing. Well, less maximum damage robust. That's good. And you, my dear, get Swell Scourger. Swell. In time, you will know the tragic extent of my failings. Don't worry, I've already been there. I've kind of seen enough. And here we are back at the Hamlet, or the Creedy Estate. I, I named it myself. It's awful, I know. And here we have, see, basically the um, the quirks and perks. Everything that happens during the week. As are people who are now recovered. Sadly, our uh, Arbalista gained gambler, so she can only gamble now. In town, we'll only gamble. That's a bad thing. Uh, let's see, our Pius has spent the night at the town and recovered stress and is no longer paranoid, which is a good thing. Morgana prayed and recovered stress and Walakat uh, uh, meditated and recovered 59 stress and is no longer masochistic. That's never a good thing. And here are our heroes of the week. Reinald, Angry Lady, Turner and Hooch and Mother Mar Mother Maria. That's basically a stress in Mother, Mother Maria because I decided to name my people myself. Now, let's go ahead, before we call this off, we're gonna just go ahead and quick look at the stagecoach to see who's new in town. Oh, there we have someone I've never seen before. We have an abomination who I would really much like to introduce myself to. So we're gonna have a look at him. I've never seen these guys before, but I'm very curious to see what they can do. Hmm. Very neat. Very neat indeed. I look forward to seeing this. Are, or is he supposed to have all skills? Because he have all skills for some reason. Incubating mutation and rusted chains. So, oh, that's your armor and your weapons, huh? Wow. Um. Yeah. We'll take you on board. Welcome aboard. Tortured and reclusive. This man is more dangerous than he seems. Oh boy. Let's see here. The hero barracks could use an upgrade. But I have enough heroes for now, so we're gonna go ahead and go to the blacksmith. It's pretty interesting that I've only a bit, has so far only have one person die on me. And uh, yeah, I think she died in the first uh, first one. I can't quite remember. But with that, we're gonna go ahead and leave this here. So, thank you kindly for watching, like, comment, and subscribe, share this with a friend why don't you, and, as always, play nice out there. He kind of looks like the voice would have a really weird robotic voice considering his jaw thing or whatever that is, so I'm gonna give him... You have done well, Stix. You probably don't remember me.